Hello friends, this video on periodic classification of elements part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 10. Which element has two cells filled with two cells, both of which are filled with electrons? And the first question, then I have second, third, fourth, and fifth question. To answer all this, let's take the first question. Two cells both of which are filled with electrons. That means it has something 2 and 8 is the electronic configuration, right? Because there are two shells and both are filled. 2 and 8 plus 8 is 10. So electronic uh, atomic number of 10 is muon. So this muon is my answer. Electronic configuration of 2, 8, 2. This atomic number of 2 plus 8 plus 2 is 12. Atomic number 12 is magnesium. So magnesium is my answer. A total of three shells with four electron in its valence cell. So my two, three cells and the four in the valence one. So two, eight, four. Two, eight, four is uh, two plus eight, 10 plus four, 14. 14 is silica. So this guy is silica. Two cells with three in the valence electron. That is two comma three is my electronic conviction. Two plus three is five. Five is this guy, boron. So boron is my answer. Twice as many electron in the second cell as the first cell. First cell will have to be filled, right, to go to the second cell. So first cell will have two, and the second will have four because twice the element in the second cell as in the first cell. So two plus four is six. Six is my carbon. This guy is carbon. So if you see, very easy to find the elements if I know some property of the element and I have the periodic table. What properties do all the elements in same column of the periodic table as boron have in common? So I have this boron. I am asked that all these which have same column. Correct. So if you see. For all these, my valence is 3. In fact, valence electron is also 3. V electron. What properties do I have all the elements in the same column as fluorine come? So we see the thick fluorine one. For all these, my valence electron is 7. Right? All these are 7. You see fluorine is 2, 7, 9. This guy is 2, 8, 7. Each and every element in these uh, group has valence electron of 7 and valency of 1. This is the common thing they have. An atom has the electronic configuration of 2, 8, 7. What is the atomic number? So atomic number, you add these two, three, all these, these values, so you get 17. So 17 is my atomic number. To which of the following elements would it be chemically similar? The first guy is uh, N7, right? So this becomes 25. For this, electronic conversion will be 27. This is 15, so this becomes 285, right? This will become 288. Now I have 7 in the valence electron. So I am looking for 7 in the valence electron. That is, I am looking for this guy, F. So my F9 is the answer. F9 will be chemically similar to my this particular atom because both have similar number of atoms in the valence shell. So three, the position of three elements A, B, C in the periodic table are given below. The group 16, group 17. State whether A is a metal or non-metal. So you can see that Group 17 are all non metal side, so A is a non metal. That is confirmed. A is non metal. Second is C is more reactive or less reactive than A. So if you see C, and B, C and A, if you have to compare, right? C and A. C is bigger than A. And they are non non metal. So as told, the non metallic character decreases, right? So C is less reactive. 
C is more reactive state whether C is more reactive than so C is less reactive actually. C is less reactive. Correct? Why? Because we go down the size of atom increases, the power of neutron to or the power of nucleus to attract electron decreases, and it will not be able to attract electrons and thus it will be less metal, non-metal. Will C be larger or smaller than B? If you compare C and B, C has to be smaller because the, the number of shells are same, but if you go from here to here, the proton becomes powerful as compared to B, right? And then it will attract electrons more if you compare to B, and thus the size will decrease. So you can see that C is smaller than B. Correct. What type of ions, cations or anions will be formed by A? Since A is a non-metal, a will accept electron and A will become A minus. Correct? And A minus is nothing but an ion. Because I told that an ion is a negative charge. Right? A negative is an ion. So the A negative is an ion. Correct? So this guy is a non metal because in group 17, C is less reactive because you go down the electron the atom size increase and the power of C to attract electron decreases C is smaller than B or what yeah C is smaller because the shelf has same and if you compare to B C is uh, has more power to attract electron and the size will shrink since A is a non-metal it will gain electron becomes A minus and that is an ion nitrogen atomic number 7 and phosphorus atomic number 15 that is this guy is 25 this guy is 285 belongs to group 15 of the periodic table write the electronic configuration of these two elements which of these will be more electro negative pi so electronic configuration i wrote this guy is 25 and this guy is 285 now if you see this guy has got extra shell so if we compare nitrogen and phosphorus phosphorus is bigger right and got extra shell, right? Nitrogen is smaller and got only two cell. Correct. Now this since the atom size has increased, the the force between this guy and this guy has decreased. So this guy is weaker, right? The atom of uh, the nuclei of this is weaker to attract electron. And this guy can attract electron easily. Attract electron easily. So it can attract electron easily. This guy is more electronic. If I can say that my nitrogen is more electronic. Why? Because the nitrogen atom is small and it can attract electron easily as compared to phosphorus. How does the electronic configuration of an atom relates to its position in the modern periodic table? So if we have seen that we have uh, something called periods and we have groups. Right? So first thing is in a group, all elements have same valence electron. Tron in a group that is one thing all the elements in a group have same valence electron if we talk about periods right so there's a consecutive increase in atomic number so if you see if you talk about periods there's a consecutive increase in atomic number if you go from here to here so if you see in both the cases, this electronic configuration matters. Correct. And they have similar electronic configuration. Electronic configuration. So based on electronic configuration, you can actually tell the position of a electron. For example, it is a 282. I can tell that this guy is first, second, third period and group 30. First, second, and then you have 13 group, right? If I have something called 2, 1, I can say that this guy is in first group and first, second period. 
just by the looking at the electronic generation, I can tell where the element lies. So the question says the calcium atomic number 20 is surrounded by elements atomic number 12, 9, 21, 38. Each of these have similar properties as calcium. So we have to find the electronic configuration. So calcium is what? Calcium is 2, 8, 8, 2. Correct. Now we'll see that this guy is 12. So 12 becomes 2, 8, 2. So if you see the number matches. Thus I can say that this guy resembles property of calcium. Take this guy, 19, this is 2881, doesn't match, right? Similarly, if you take uh, 21, that becomes 2818 and 3, doesn't match. So if you see, nothing matches except this guy, correct? So we can say that this guy matches the property of calcium because they have same number of balance electrons. We we'll compare the Mendeleev's and Montgomery table. So if you see, here's a comparison. In this case, Mendeleev 1, elements are arranged on the basis of atomic mass. This here, it is arranged on the basis of atomic number. There are 7 groups and 6 periods only. There are 18 groups and 7 periods. Element with similar properties are placed in a group. And here, element with same valence electrons are placed in a group. Please note, there's a difference here. Position of hydrogen could not be explained in this case. Position of hydrogen is explained. There's a isotopes confusion here. There's no confusion of isotopes. That's the reason. Let's do a recap. Elements are classified on the basis of similarity in the property. Daubernier explained or uh, grouped the elements in turrets and new lens into laws of actives. The Mendeleev arranged the elements in the order of increasing atomic masses and also based on the chemical property. He predicted the existence of some element which was not even there that time. There were some anomalies in the basis of uh, ordering of atomic masses which could be removed when Mosley proposed this atomic number. And uh, in modern periodic table we have 18 vertical columns and 7 horizontal rows called periods and elements thus arranged shows periodicity of properties including atomic size, valency, combining capacity, metallic, non-metallic character, all these things uh, it shows periodic periodicity in the theoretic table. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.